The blast ripped through a popular Mogadishu market. A shopkeeper told police he saw a vehicle park near a restaurant. Moments later, explosives detonated, killing civilians and policemen. I was very shocked. I saw people crying in pain and others lying on the ground wounded. I wasn't far from where the bomb exploded and I saw more than 20 dead bodies. The injuries were unaccountable. This attack is the first since President Mohammed Abdullahi Mohammed took office on February 8th. He's offering $100,000 for information leading to those responsible. The position of president is not easy, and there is a daunting task ahead of me. I know that. Mohammed's daunting tasks include dealing with al-Shabaab. The al-Qaeda-linked group wants to take control of Somalia. It once controlled a large part of the country, but was driven out of the capital by African Union forces in 2011. The group still controls parts of the countryside. Somalia is also facing another threat, severe drought. Half the population of six million people are close to starvation. The new president has been warned by the UN that Somalia is at risk of another famine. Paul Chadurjian, Al Jazeera.